Oh, you guys were <laughs> keeping this on camera. This is one of the greatest moments on our entire channel. The dog just ran away. He ain't even checking to see if I'm okay. My fat ass just broke the chair. <laughs> You're not even gonna take a see if I'm okay? <laughs> He's looking at me like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm okay. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? <laughs> so much for these chairs. <laughs> I want you guys to know that that's the first time I've ever broken a chair. <laughs> time Look out. Oh, hi, hi everyone. everyone. <laughs> I'm Nate. I'm I just broke a chair. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. <laughs> my ego may be hurt a little bit, but my body is fine. Good thing the gym's Yo. Okay. Oh my gosh! Burn! The shot's fired. Uh, your boy needs to go work out. Or we should buy some fancier chairs. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was really funny. That was, I'm so glad that that was caught on camera, you guys. Yeah. Okay, so we today, started. we are going to be doing Never Have I Ever. <laughs> you guys, if Never Have I Ever broken a chair comes up on these questions, <laughs> there's no lie. There's no lying, it's in the video. All right, There's guys. no point in lying on any of these after you fall out of your chair. You guys, break your I've chair. just shared one of the most vulnerable moments that anyone can ever have in their whole life with you guys. So, me leaving that part in the video just shows how much I love you guys and how much I trust you guys. Mm -hmm. Actually, matter of fact, make it go viral, please. You guys are so much more supportive than that chair. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get started. No more chair breaking question, uh, jokes. Okay, I mean, never have I ever played hooky from work or school. Yes, I have. I have. Yeah. 100%. Not from, well, I just like probably from work. Never have I ever gone skinny dipping. I have yeah. not. I have not. But, I mean, I've just never really been in a place where, like... One day we'll come. It's good to do. It's so cool. Never have I ever spied on my neighbors. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I feel like sometimes you have to spy on your neighbors when you're trying to look out for them, you know what I mean? And right. then you accidentally realize that you're just fine. You're like that. Right. Just trying to make sure you're okay. Right? Yeah, to make sure that you're okay. Our neighborhood always looks out for everybody. True. Yeah. I've had friends yelled at by our neighbors being like, hey, what are you doing over there? And they're like, I'm just trying to go grab something. <laughs> so this like, next one I think is actually really funny that it's on here because it totally is something that someone would lie about. What? Never have I ever watched Keeping Up with the Cat Kardashians. I have. I, <laughs> I like, have tried so many times. I treat that like, oh, I'm not going to say that. Star Wars. <laughs> Where I like want to enjoy it, but I just don't. My sisters used to watch it and I watch it with them. Yeah. See, nobody else I know really watches It's mostly show. just that them blowing up at each other. Yeah. <laughs> Which just reminded me of my family. <laughs> uh, never have, have I ever stolen something with a higher value than $10. No. Uh, I have. That shoe? Yeah, the shoe. The shoe. It was the shoe. I have not. Never have I ever really liked a Justin Bieber song. I have. I'm sure He's I got did. a couple good ones. Can I name it? No, but... I'm sure I did. That Purpose album was pretty good. Never have I ever bet on something. I, I'm assuming that this means like a real bet, not like, I bet you can't do that. I've never placed like a real bet before. I, mean, I want to. I think we should always recognize that the stock market is really just a bet. It really is just, <laughs> okay, I've placed some bets then. Yeah, that it's true, it really is just a bet. Never have I ever stalked an ex's boyfriend or girlfriend on social media. No. 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 Never like their. I like low key stalk like an ex on social media, but never like their new yeah. stuff. That's weird. Yeah. That's too far. Yeah. Um. 
Never have I ever lied to a friend to avoid a greater evil. I've definitely lied to friends. I'm sure I've. Like to avoid a greater evil. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I've. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think also just lied to my friends. We're both very sensitive people as far as like other people's feelings. Like I feel like you and I, True. that's why we work very well together. So we both do that to each other. Mm -hmm. So we both look out for each other's feelings a lot. So I would definitely lie to a friend to avoid hurting their feelings. Sure. Yeah. And I would appreciate them doing the same. <laughs> right? Sometimes I don't need the full truth. True. Okay. Never have I ever escaped from a class. What? Like escaped. Like, like snuck out. Yeah, like snuck out. Oh, I definitely did that. I would sneak out of class, but like, it's a lot easier to get away with when you're a girl because they don't say anything if you like take your bag with you. Mm. So like, she's just trying to hide a tampon. I've not. Like, like I have. I've never like snuck out of a class. I've literally gotten a text from my mom, and she's like, "I'm outside from school," and I'd be like, "Okay," and then I just get up and leave. I just leave class, walk out the front door, and get my mom's car and <laughs> go to see a movie or something. That's cool. Um, never have I ever cheated on a test. Yes, I have. Yep. I was like, most people have. Yeah. If someone says they haven't, they're probably lying. Yeah. Um, never have I ever grabbed the wrong person's hand. Yes. Not that I remember. Not like, and it wasn't like a significant other, <laughs> but like I just went and grabbed someone because I thought there was someone else and I was very wrong. <laughs> You're like, oh, I am so sorry. That's how he said startling as the other person. Like, what are you grabbing <laughs> me for? Yeah, no. Um, never have I ever fallen in love with someone through the network. The network? Like, social media? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> the network. What is the network? Oh, is the that, that movie? Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Impossible. Right? <laughs> Never have I ever said I love you without feeling it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Not to you though. No. I hope you know that. Not to you. You are not when people have said that. These questions are worded so funny. I'm gonna read this question just for the wording of it. Never have I ever entered into Facebook while drunk. How do you enter into <laughs> Facebook? I teleported right into the center of that mess. Okay. I'm here's... sure I have. Oh, I'm sure I've been drunken on Facebook. Yeah. I never post no status or nothing, though. No. Have you Have you ever drunk texted someone? Yes. Like, <laughs> I don't mean like drunk, like just texting someone drunk, but like saying something you really regret saying because you were drunk. I wouldn't say it's anything that I like really regret saying, but definitely things I'm like, I wouldn't have said that if I was sober. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we all have that, though. Yeah. Never have I ever stuck gum under a table or a desk. I have. Not like... I don't think I have. But mainly because like I'm like, it feels gross on my hands. True. <laughs> I feel like I have, but I also feel like I would've just spit it out. I think... Because I wouldn't I, do it under like a, like a, in like school, like a school desk or something. Yeah, I think I worked at a restaurant when I was like growing up, so having to like see the bottoms of tables then, I was like, ugh. I can't do it. I would swallow my gum instead. <laughs> and like, never have I ever refused a kiss. Uh, I definitely have. I have? Yeah. Never have I ever lied to my parents about being hungover. No. because no, I've never been hungover. I just, my mom would think it would be funny. Yeah. You skipped the one night stand. Oh, never have I ever had a one night stand. No. Yes. Never? But it's fun they even spelled the question wrong. Did they? Yeah, never have I, never have I ever had, had a, a nightstand. Had a nightstand. <laughs> I, I have one right had now. <laughs> uh, never <laughs> have I ever gone to the bathroom and then not wash my hands. No. No. Never have I ever kissed someone of the same sex. Not like my dad. Yeah. When I was like little, but never like romantically. No. Never have I ever woken up drunk the next day. I have. I've woken up high the next day, but never drunk the next day. I've woken up drunk the next day, but it's only like if I um, have been up really late drinking. Mm, yeah. So, which never happens because I am not a night person. <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever kissed my best friend. I kiss her all the time. Oh my gosh, last time I did this, and now you're doing this. 
<laughs> and I missed it. <laughs> I kiss my best friend all the time. Never have I ever smoked Mary Jane. Uh, I have. I have. Uh, never have I ever eaten food that fell on the floor. I have. I have. Never have I ever got drunk playing these games. Like playing Never Have I Ever? Maybe no. Drinking games? <laughs> I've never got drunk playing a drinking game. Have you? I never play it long enough to get drunk. Uh, I mean, yeah, we played uh, Burial Cart with champagne, and so we got drunk from that. It's where you have to finish like a bot, like the bottle of champagne, and you have to finish the race, but you can't drink and drive at the same time. So, got drunk. Oh my God. <clears throat> um, never have I ever kissed someone without knowing him or her. Uh, no, I have not. Um, you had a one night stand. You. Had I was like, yeah, actually, I take that back. I, I have. Uh, <laughs> that's a stupid one. Never have I ever been with the former love of my best friend. Never. No, I can't do it. We just I, talked about, we had a conversation about this. It's weird. I, yeah, I could not do it. It's too much mixed up feelings. And yeah, I, no, I can't. These wording of these questions, you guys. Never have I ever seen a topless on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen someone. <laughs> I have seen someone topless on a beach. We have a new yeah. beach. Oh, I, we, here. Yeah, I was gonna say we live within an hour of a new beach. Yeah. Never have I ever had a friend with benefits. I'm just kidding. No, she's my girlfriend. Isn't that what a girlfriend and <clears throat> boyfriend are? I mean, they're friends with benefits. True. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the sense that this means. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, never have I ever fought in the street. No, it was in a <laughs> playground. <clears throat> Never have I ever fallen asleep on the bus and passed my pass my station, passed my stop. Yes, I have. I never passed it. I usually wake up right before it. My body's always like. <gasps> I got on the max one time and I, I woke up the at the Expo too. Center. <laughs> You're like no. I was trying to get to the Lloyd Center. I woke up at the Expo Center. Um, never have I ever fallen in love with my teacher in college. That's very specific. Very specific. Whoever wrote this fell in love with a teacher in yeah. college. Um, it's a teacher in general. Um, not fallen in love with, but I definitely had a crush on a couple of teachers. I think I've had a crush on a couple of teachers, but it's like very rare you have young teachers. I had a crush on my my middle school teacher's sister, and she like came in and taught after school stuff. Her name was Jess. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my middle school teacher Rob's sister. I feel like it's always been like. Not student teachers, but like teaching aides, you know? That's true. It's because because they're teacher. younger. All the teachers that like, are at least the most- Miss Smith, I went though. To, like, She's a counselor, but- All the teachers I had were always like 50 or older. Yeah. <laughs> we had a counselor at our high school named Miss Smith, and she was gorgeous. Oh, my counselors were women. Um, never have I ever been robbed. I mean, technically, we got a speaker stolen on our, on our car. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if that's what they consider yeah, being robbed. Yeah, I've had stolen, or stuff stolen from cars, but I've never had, I've never like been mugged. Yeah, no. <laughs> never have I ever received a serenade. No. no. No one got me any serenades from Hooked on Harmonics, the acapella group. We had group. a boys group, <laughs> and we went in like an acapella group and sang on to girls on Valentine's Day. In high school. In high school, and yeah. This fool. <laughs> No, no, me. I would have been like, no. <laughs> Never have I. Too ever, much attention. <laughs> right. Never have I ever snuck into a party. Yes. Nope. But it wasn't like some huge party that like they weren't letting people in. I just like. I'm I mean, like not confident enough for that. <laughs> it was like a prom party, and they were like not really trying to let us in, and then. We like just went around. I always felt out of place at parties that I even got invited to, so <laughs> I don't. I don't think I'd be able to sneak in. Never have I ever wanted to fall. They just word these questions so I don't <laughs> understand what it's saying. <laughs> Never have I ever wanted to fall in love with my sister's slash boy uh, brother's friend. Like, wanted to? So you had a crush on your yes like, friends? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because both of us have. Uh, like siblings really close to her age too. Yeah. She like, has this, an older sister that had boys around and yeah. I had an older brother that had girls around. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever made love with someone from the university. Who is this? The university. <laughs> yeah, I did. 
from the <laughs> Portland State University. <clears throat> Never have I ever been stuck in a lift. I'm getting in an elevator. Oh. This is like a British person or an Australian person, aren't they? Yeah. No, I've never been stuck in an, in an elevator. Have, never have I ever illegally taken someone across the border. No. No. That's, that's also lie. very specific. <laughs> right? Never have I ever lied to my parents about where I'm going. Yes. I have. I don't um, think I have. My mom was like, I don't... I wouldn't feel the need to, I think, with my mom. My mom thought I was going to like some after school like study thing and I was going over to a girl's house. And guess what? Then she broke up with me. <laughs> that was the time that I snuck out. I snuck out. I, I didn't sneak out. I didn't go to the study thing. She's like, you don't respect your Cause, mother. Because she asked me to You're go over. Here. And then she broke up with me. Never did it again. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever finished an entire jawbreaker. I don't like jawbreakers. No. Never have I ever been handcuffed. No comment. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Never have I ever done something I regret. Oh, yeah. Obviously. I'm working on my level of regret because I hate feeling <clears throat> regret, but it's really hard. Last one, that was my shoes. Oh, Never I have I ever fallen asleep in a movie theater. Oh, yeah, we fell asleep together. <laughs> we will crash. Okay. I kept my record of always falling asleep during Star Wars movies. Okay, that's all we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe button. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Hit the notification button too.